history of this country. Nakuru had Ocheng Oneko, Acheng Oneko, as a member of parliament at independence. Nakuru had Waflo Abuke elected there. Nakuru had Lualo Yondi elected there. Nakuru has had uh, Mark Mwithaka elected there. If you look at those names, Mr. Speaker, you can see Kenyans who come from extreme corners of the country coming into Nakuru, they're not as cosmopolitan as Nairobi, but getting elected. That is the character of Nakuru that we want to see. A truly cosmopolitan city where Luali Oyondi from a village in Butere stands and is elected a member of parliament and is liked by everybody and serves everybody and becomes a successful person. I would want Mr. Speaker to encourage Nakuru to remain what it is. You have Arama from the Kisi Nation, a member of parliament there. You have a young man in, although he's not in Nakuru town in Naivasha, called Palanga. He's an elected MCA. This is the kind of thing, Mr. Speaker, that you find in uh, Tanzania. Senator Kajang's brother, yes, is an MCA in Nakuru, a truly successful political family, uh, uh, appearing uh, on the charts of Homa Bay, Nairobi, and Nakuru. I don't know where else they will be appearing. <laughs> so, Mr. Speaker, so that others can speak because we have several things ahead of us. We want to support this elevation, but we want to call the governor of Nakura and his team to order. Mr. Speaker, the criminality of collecting street children